Hey everybody, Console Collector here. Today, I've got a special announcement. I am moving. I am moving to a bigger and better house, so that means I gotta pack up my entire game room and collection. So I figured, what better way to say goodbye to the game room by doing a final game room tour. So real quick here, we'll just do a quick 360 pan so you guys can get oriented on how the game room is set up and then we'll get started with the game room tour. All right, so here is the game room tour. So we head down the stairs, we are greeted with the Nintendo home consoles. Starting with the Nintendo Switch, my white Wii U, my blue Wii, the Platinum GameCube, N64, Super Nintendo, and finally the NES Challenge set. Below all those, I just got some posters here greeting you on the way in. At the top here, we got Majora's Mask, fun with Perlerec, cool ET record. On top of the arcade here, you can see the Neo Geo CD, six fantastic boxes, Panasonic 3DO box, and Tales of Symphonia GameCube. And then on this little pillar, artwork that my son made me. Over here, we just got some random figures here, such as Venom Disney Infinity, a Lemmings, and this Nintendo Power Poster. Here we have issue number one and issue number 285 of Nintendo Power, the first and last issues. This shelf here is just some custom amiibos and little figures. Hashtag Dixie for Smash. Here I got a little bit of Yoshi stuff. So Yoshi, Yoshi's Wooly World, the blue Yoshi sealed. Yoshi promo tape there, my custom painted Yoshis. Behind Yoshi I got my complete in box Legend of Zelda on NES and complete in box Adventures of Link. Little amiibo sign there. Panning over here, we have my complete wired official Nintendo GameCube controller set. So there we have the Char's Gundam GameCube controller. Then we have the Hanch and Tigers, Resident Evil 4, Club Nintendo, blue and white, Club Nintendo Wario, Club Nintendo Luigi, Club Nintendo Mario. Then we got the Wii U version for Smash Bros, the Japanese one. Then the North American release of the Wii U Smash Bros. Tales of Symphonia, Stone White, the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Pearl White, the Clear, the Starlight Gold, the Emerald, the Panasonic Q, and in the back here we got my Ice Blue Cube custom controller. At the top here we have the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller. We got the standard Spice Orange controller, standard Indigo, Jet Black, Platinum. In the back there we have the Grey Wave Bird, the Platinum Wave Bird, then the official GameCube keyboard controller. Here's my only third party GameCube controller which is the Hip Gear controller with the built in monitor. Here's the LodgeNet Hotel controller and then finally we have the Indigo slash clear GameCube controller. Moving down here we have some sealed GameCube accessories. This is the modem adapter, the 251 memory card, the 1019 memory card, broadband adapter, Nintendo Game Boy uh, advanced cable to GameCube, sealed platinum controller and sealed wave bird. Here's a cool Bowser car and then Arc 9 printed off from my snap kiosk and just a sealed uh, third-party NES controller that's very nostalgic for me. Here we have the complete series of home improvement sitting on top of my 
NES Miracle Piano. Over here, we have my favorite issue of Nintendo Power. Get that out of the way. This is my custom NES chest that my fiance made me. Just in the front here, we have some cool little coasters here my friend got me for my birthday. Inside the chest, it opens up, and we have my NES cartridges. Some notable stuff like Toxic Crusaders is in there, stack up. All the Mega Man's Gargoyles, Quest 2. Lots of good titles. Moving on to this cabinet here, I have the entire Nintendo Power set. Issues 1 to 285. 95% of them are complete. So there's a few that are missing posters or inserts that I need to upgrade. In the drawers here, we have strategy guides. And in the bottom drawer here, I have the complete sealed set of the Burger King Pokeballs and just some random papers and books. At the base here, we have the NES controller door floor or door doormat. Moving over here into my closet, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe promo for the Switch. And this is my overflow of consoles and accessories, etc. etc. This is all stuff that I can't fit in my game room or display properly, so it all kind of hides away in the closet here. I'm hoping in the new game room I'll have room to display all of this stuff. At least most of it. There's a lot of neat stuff in here. I'd really like to, to get out more. So if we move over here, we have my sealed R-Zone there. And these are my Misfit Amiibo collection. The most notable here is the Toad that has been decapitated. The rest of them are either broken in the sealed box or knocked loose. Now over here we have my boxed Super Nintendo collection. Some notable titles such as the Robocop Terminator there, Home Improvement, SOS, which I always called the Titanic game because you're on a boat sinking like the Titanic. At the top there we have Separation Anxiety, Maximum Carnage and Spider-Man. Three awesome games. And here we have Smart Ball, which if, you've, uh, if you're a regular on my channel, you'll know how much I love that game. And then Lemmings, Lion King. Here we have Pocky and Rocky 1 and 2. Up front, guarded by Bowser, we got Super Mario Kart, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Ghoul Patrol, and The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past with Yoshi there. Swing around to this side, we got Super Mario World and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and some figures there. Inside the glass cabinet number one here we have my Neo Geo AES. This is the original AES, not that Neo Geo X. Below that we have my Magnavox Odyssey, sorry, my Magnavox CDI with the Triforce of Crap, the Wand of Gamelon, Zelda's Adventure and the Faces of Evil. Tucked in the back there is the worst game of all time. Dark Castle on CDI. Below that we have Darkwing Duck, another bad game. Then we have the PC Engine Duo, or Turbo Duo, as it's known in North America. Got my Turbo Stick there, then my Turbo Graphics 16 with the Turbo Booster Plus in the back. And my favorite Turbo game, Bomberman 93. Down at the bottom there we have the Coleco Gemini, <clears throat> Mr. Basic Meets Bits and Bites, and uh, He-Man on Intellivision. And then there we have my Radio Shack Tandy Vision at the very bottom. <clears throat> For those that don't know, um, I'm a big fan of collecting bad games and having game nights and punishing my friends, so you'll see some bad games in my collection. So here we have the Commodore Amiga CD32 with Chaos Engine on top and this really funky controller. Moving down, we have the Atari Jaguar. There's Doom, Alien vs Predator, my fully functioning Jaguar CD, and then the Jaguar itself. 
here we have the Sega CDX Gargoyles, Snow Bros on Genesis, which is actually a Mega Drive game inside, and then a sealed Shaq Fu with the Shaq Rap CD. Here we got some pretty neat handhelds. There you see the Nokia N-Gage, the Famicom Game Boy Micro. Here is the Gizmondo. Then there's the Gamecom complete in box. There's the Atari Lynx 2, the Sega Game Gear, the Sega Nomad, Mario Bros. Game & Watch, the NES SP Game Boy Advance, and then Super Mario Bros. on Game & Watch. In the bottom there you see my Build-A-Bear Bowser behind there. There's the Neo Geo CD. Plumbers don't wear ties for the 3DO. And then at the bottom, the FZ1 model of the Panasonic 3DO. Moving along, we have my N64 shelf. So at the top there, some of my games there. You see Puzzle League, Andrew Kazooie. There's the box for my Pikachu N64. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. I loved those as a kid. The God Awful Superman 64, Bomberman Second Attack, Diddy Kong Racing. There you see behind Mega Blaziken and Inkling Girl, I have the Berry, Game Boy Color, then the Teal. This is the Lime, but it's the special Pokemon Crystal pack in version, which I bought new as a young man. Then there's the Dandelion, and behind Inkling Boy is the Grape. And the Mewtwo on the end there. So that's the five main colors of Game Boy Colors there. Here's the actual N64 consoles, topped off with the N64 sign. So here's my Smoke Black with WrestleMania 2000. Then we got Donkey Kong 64 with the Jungle Green. And up there we have a Nintendo Power promo page for the Fantastics when they were 100 bucks. Then there's Smash Bros there with my favorite console color, the ice blue, with Link there. Here's the collector's edition with the foil cover, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, with the gold N64. Then Mario 64 there with the watermelon 64. Then we got the spice orange console with the perfect dark. Then Skull Kid hanging out with the grape N64 and Majora's Mask. And then we have the ice blue clear bottom, Japanese only console with Mario Kart 64. Finally for these consoles here, we got the Diahawks N64, Japan only, sitting on top of the N64 DD disk drive. Then we got a couple DD games there, F-Zero Expansion and Doshin the Giant. So moving here to my main gaming station, this is my high def HD TV running Pikmin right now. Pikmin is playing on my custom Ice Blue Cube and GameCube. It's a blue metallic, blue LED, my custom memory card, and Game Boy Player. Beside that, we got the PS1. Below here, we got the N64, standard N64. There's my Dreamcast, my Sega Saturn, my PS3, my Atari 7800, then we got the original Wii, the Retron 5, then I got my modded NES and SNES Classic Editions, Fat PS2, 360, my Nintendo Switch, the top loader, Panas or Panasonic 3DO. Then here we have my PS4 with this really cool PlayStation sign that lights up with the PSVR in the back there. Here we have my Arcanine in the Pokeball there. Got the Ouya back there. Here's my Battlefield Xbox One S. Crystal Xbox. And then moving here, this is my coffee table with all my custom perler art done by my fiance. This is where I shoot all of my videos. So this is what it looks like when there isn't stuff all over it. Some of my favorite game characters are here, as you can see. Moving over here, we got some of my notable Game Boy carts. Spuds, Amazing Tater, 
Snow Bros, Kid, Kid Dracula, got the Pokemons, Mega Man 1 through 5, some nostalgic games here. In the back there we got the Legend of Zelda Strategy Guide Set, Chest, and on top of that we got Bully Special Edition. Here's my little mini Bowser Shrine, starting off with the Super Mario Odyssey Bowser flag from GameStop, promo item only. Some Bowser Amiibos, a sealed Mario Party 10 Bowser Edition, Bowser Bowser Jr., the Bowser Wiimote, Bowser Switch Controller, Bowser on top of the Mario Bros. pillar there. Here we have Captain N, the Game Master, the complete series. Behind all that, we see the Deluxe Rob set for the NES. Besides that, we have the Neo Geo AES box. Here we have Action 52, and then the cartridge. Castlevania just randomly sitting there. Here's my little Pikmin set up here. Whole little cluster of Pikmin inside there. There's my custom Pikmin sign. By Triforce Light here. And behind we have TurboGrafx-16 box, Virtual Boy box, the Star Wars 360 box. In the corner there we have the Breath of the Wild Switch controller, a couple of Amiibos, and then the Breath of the Wild Special Edition. Up top here we got the Sega CDX box with some of the Sonic crew. Very top up there we got the Final Fantasy Wonder Swan Special Edition. Here's all six seasons of Are You Afraid of the Dark, one of my favorite childhood shows. Here we have the Atari Jaguar box. Here you see Bucky O'Hare complete in box along with Silver Surfer. Up here we have the Atari 2600 uh, video game complete in box beside a sealed ET VHS. Tucked in the back there is the Starlight Gold GameCube box. Got some more figures there. There's my Vectrex box. Up top, we got the Super Mario Bros. TV series. We got Cheetah Man 1, Cheetah Man 2, and Action 52 on Genesis. Up here we have the Super Mario Bros. Super Show series, the Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3 series, Resident Evil 4 GameCube bundle, and then the Pearl White GameCube behind Ice Climber which I want to say I'm super stoked that Ice Climbers are back. Up here we have my Super Bomberman Party Pack, followed by Earthbound, which this is one of my most prized possessions in my collection. I never thought I'd get this complete in box, let alone the steal of the deal I got. Behind Bomberman I got Mario Paint Big Box, the SNES Control Deck, and then the NES Control Deck box there. Then you see Midna. Wolf Link and Ness. So here's my game shelf, the main one. Here's my Switch games. Got some Wii and Wii U games here. Moving down, we got some N64 disk drive games. My favorite PSP game, Castlevania, the Dracula X Chronicles. Sitting on top of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Here's the super cool Dead Rising Zombrex edition there. And then we got some 3DS and DS games. Two rows deep on these shelves here of games. Moving down, we got some notable PS1 games. And then we got my Mega Man. One, two, three, four, five, and six, all complete in box. And then Mega Man 7 up top. Behind here, we just got some PS1 long game, long box games, my Sega Saturn games, and my mild Sega CD collection. And then just behind Mega Man 5 is just some notable PS2 and Xbox games like Mr. Mosquito, The Silent Hills, Biker Mice from Mars, Fatal Frames, Dog Life, and Disaster Report. Tucked in the back here is Life is Strange Xbox One Special Edition and Night Trap Sega CDX, or Sega CD32X version. Moving down we got my original Xbox games, which here you can see Jurassic Park up top, Outrun Coast to Coast. Barbie Horse Adventure, then we got Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Stubbs, Futurama, and The Guy Game. All pretty rare Xbox games. 
Here we see Rule of Rose, Kuan, and the ha and Haunting Ground, the horror trifecta on PS2. And then shout out to Africa, a pretty uncommon PS3 game. Moving down, we just got some PS4 and PS2 games here. Some notable stuff like Drop Simulator, Sealed. Moving down, uh, we got some my mild Xbox One games here. And then some PS3, Xbox 360 games. Just want to put note out there that I managed to get the Hello Neighbor misprint version. So I feel like that's going to be worth some money or very collectible later on. On the floor here, we just got my Bowser and Mario, Mario Karts RCs. In the corner here, we have my Halo Reach 360, Resident Evil 5, and then the Star Wars X Xbox 360s with matching controllers. Beside those, we have my Mountain Dew Xbox, only 5,000 of these in existence. Then my Clear Blue, Clear Green, and Crystal original Xboxes behind that. Down here we got the North American Pikachu N64, the Japanese Pikachu N64, the orange version. Then we have the blue Japanese version of the Pikachu N64. And then here we have the Pokemon Stadium N64, which was a PAL release. That's my favorite of the Pokemon N64s. Over here we have my Atari XE with the uh, tape recorder and keyboard. Moving up here, we have my handheld shelf, some notable stuff like the Pokemon Game Boy Colors, the Ice Blue Game Boy Pocket, the Zelda Game & Watch, I got the Crystal Red and Blue DS's and the Red and Blue Smash Bros 3DS's, Game Boy Micro, got the Hylian Shield 2DS, got the Pokemon printer as well as the original printer, Game Boy Camera, Pokeball 2DS there, original blue 2DS, the semi-rare cobalt blue. 3DS. You can see the Legend of Zelda um, Ocarina of Time 3DS in there. Kind of hard to see back there, but I have the sealed uh, pa po po Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Palkia and Dialga DS Lite. That's a tongue twister. Moving along here, we have some of my Game Boy games that are all complete in box. Some notable ones there like Pinball, Metroid 2, some of these games are more nostalgic and and such. That's why you see games like Wave Race. Then there you see Spud's Adventure, Amazing Tater, uh, Looney Tunes, very nostalgic for me. Snow Bros, complete in box with the hang tab even. And then Nails and Scales, such an underrated hidden gem on the Game Boy. I just want to quickly say that Tetris on the original Game Boy, to get that box, like that's insanely difficult. You wouldn't believe how rare that is in box. Next up we have the Intellivision with the IntelliVoice module, the Genesis Model 3, Intellivision 2. Here I have the Sega CDX, sorry, the Sega 32X, Genesis Model 2, and the Sega CD. Then we have the Sega Channel piece there, then the ColecoVision with the expansion module that lets you play 2600 games on your ColecoVision. Moving up, we have my Sega Sports Dreamcast, followed by my four PS2 Slims. The black, silver, white, and pink. Here we have the Grand Theft Auto Vice City soundtrack collection. Then we have the Sega Master System here, the Philips CDI 910, and then the Magnavox Odyssey 2. Here we have my Fire Emblem Shrine. In the back there we have Fire Emblem Echoes, we have a not for resale version of Sacred Stones, then we have the special edition for Fire Emblem Warriors, we got Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, Awakening, Fire Emblem and Game Boy Advance, Sealed, Sacred Stones, and of course Fire Emblem Fate special edition sitting behind the Figma Lucina. Got my custom Robin female amiibo, we got Tiki, Celica and Chrom there. Next up we have my white Wii U with the white Pro Controller. Original Wii with the portable screen. 
Here we have my Atari 2600 with the Space Invader and ET plugged in. Here's the Atari 5200 4 port version. Moving up we have my Nintendo shelf here with the NES top loader. And then there's my complete in box Snow Bros, which was one of my favorite games. As you can tell, I have Snow Bros on arcade, Game Boy, Mega Drive slash Genesis, and of course the NES version. In the back there we have the NES 3DS. Here we have the Rob family. We got the Stack Up Rob and the Gyromite Rob. Then over here, we got some controllers, actual uh, boxed NES controllers, and then we have the NES Classic controller, and then the NES Classic Edition in the bottom there, followed by the Power Glove and the NES Advantage. Pretty crammed in there. Next up, my PS1. We have the PS1, the screen, my rarest PS1 game there, the Misadventures of Tron Bond. My favorite PS1 game, Silent Hill. Then we got Lemmings Long Box on one side and Resident Evil Long Box on the other. Moving over to my Super Nintendo shelf here, we have the Super Nintendo uh, Control Deck, Super Nintendo Classic Edition, Super Nintendo Controller in Box, my favorite game of all time, Super Mario RPG, complete in box with the complete in box Super Mario RPG for the Super Famicom. In the back we got the Super Scope, then we got the Multi-Tap for games like Bomberman, the new Nintendo 3DS XL for Super Nintendo version, Super Game Boy, the original Super Nintendo, and finally the Super Advantage. All right, so moving up, we have my kind of Pikmin shrine here. Here you can see we have Pikmin 1, the Japanese version and North American version, along with my childhood version. Here we have the Nintendo Power issue for Pikmin 1 and then the official strategy guide for Pikmin 1 up here. Moving along here we got my VGA graded copy of Pikmin 2, which is the cover variation as you can see there. Then here we have Pikmin 2 North American version and Pikmin 2 Japanese version. Behind that we got the Nintendo Power issue for Pikmin 2 and then the official Pikmin 2 strategy guide. Then here we got Hey Pikmin and Pikmin 3 for the Wii U. Behind here we just have some uh, GameCube accessories like the bongo drums, Mario Dance Mixes back there and some Japanese games. Here we have the Holy Grail of my GameCube collection which would be the Panasonic Q complete in box. Beautiful, beautiful system. Definitely my holy grail, my collection. And then here we have the GameCube broadband adapter, the Hori pad, and then the box for the Q. Here is my complete GameCube console variation, the full variations. Here with matching Game Boy players, we have the Tales of Symphonia, the Platinum, the Crystal Chronicles, Pearl White, the Black, the Chars, the Indigo, Spice Orange, and then here we have the Indigo with the matching portable screen and battery pack. Then we have the Resident Evil 4, Haunch and Tigers, Starlight Gold, and then just this Jewel variant, Pokemon XD. Up here we have the biggest collection in my collection. This is my complete North American GameCube set. All 558 titles, all in alphabetical order, and two rows deep. So in the corner there you can see stuff like the Robotech Bot Battlecry set, Splinter Cell Steel Case, the Resident Evil 4, GameStop Steel Case, Monkey Ball 2-Pack, Pokemon Box, Big Box, and the other big boxes in the set, and the Pure Evil sets, both variants. Up front, the pretty rare Pokemon Coliseum Jirachi 2-in-1 bonus set. The Holy Grail of GameCube, the Metroid Prime Wind Waker combo, the lowest printed game in the GameCube set, Cubix, Robots for Everyone. This is the incredibly rare Blockbuster exclusive that was packed in with the DVD. My copy is sealed. 
Then the fairly rare Sonic Adventure 2 pack. Tucked in the back there is the PlayStation 4 500 million controller. I just haven't found a place for that. Here we have the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles special pack in with the Game Boy Advance player cable. Then here we have a sealed Metroid Prime bundle console. Moving over here, we have a couple Stay Puffs and my childhood Ghostbusters Ghost House playset with the complete series of Ghostbusters there. Inside, I do have the Ecto-1. Then here we have the Legend of Zelda complete series cartoon playing on my Sony Trinitron CRT, which oddly enough, it's the Super Mario Bros. exit, or outro. Top here we have my three favorite Pokemon, Arcanine, Shiny Embryon, and Luxray. Got some more figures there, and then here in the back we have the complete Super Smash Bros. Amiibo set. All first print, I got one open and one sealed, and all North American. This is a complete set up to date, I do know that there will be more coming for Smash Bros. Ultimate. But as this video, or as the recording of this video, this is a complete set. So up here along the top you can see I got some NES games and boxes here. They run along the roof line of my game room. Real quick here we'll stop and look at the Pokemon mainline, mainline games all complete in box. Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Emerald, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and just as a bonus in the back there, we got the Pokemon Sun and Moon steel case for Ultra Sun and Moon and Sun and Moon. There we got Lakitu hanging out, Flying Pikmin. Carry along the roof line here, we got more NES games. Apologize for the shakiness. They come to here, back to the stairs coming down. All the way down here. Contra and then football. Moving here, we have on the side of my arcade cabinet two really awesome Nintendo Power posters. Don't worry, those are extras, not from my set. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, there, Duck Hunt and Box. Got some Koopa Kid stuff he's up there with Death Smile Special Edition. Reshiram, and there's just a random Rayquaza there. Moving over here, we just got some Nintendo, World Nintendo figures like Dark Link, Skull Kid, Zelda, Samus, Wikitu. There's a, a Pokemon green box hiding behind red there. Here we got some more Amiibos. Some more figures. Now moving over here, we have my GameCube kiosk. Running NHL Hits 2002 right now. Well, that is an awesome game. In the corner here real quick, we got some Venom figures. I had this clear Venom as a kid, so it's really cool to get, get these uh, sealed still. And up here I got a really cool Venom and Carnage sealed set there. Pokemon game timeline. Moving up here we have the other side of the six Fantastic consoles, Star Fox in box. Hey Pikachu, and this is my N64 kiosk. Currently running Zelda Majora's Mask. There's my LED modded console and controllers. This is the clear blue and clear bottom Japanese console in there, modded to play all games. Here's some Evolution stuffies and the 20th anniversary Pokemon stuffy set. In the bottom here we have a Dead Mint 100% complete in box steel battalion. And then again here, the Zelda Majora's Mask demo. This is my Power Glove box, the Zelda Wind Waker HD Wii U. Some more uh, Koopa Kids there, and then, then this is my arcade running Pandora's Box 4. Currently, it has Mega Man 2 on it. This is a really awesome game. It's a Mega Man fighting game. Moving over here, we have a Arcanine Pokemon card set and 
Umbreon um, Pokemon cards that I do not do not collect Pokemon cards, but being two of my favorite Pokemons, I had to get those. They are both sealed. Under that, we have the Pikachu slash Pokemon VCR. Then I got some Pokemon Snap books here, like the Nintendo Power Strategy Guide, and just some random book. Pokemon Snap complete in box. There's some Pokemon Snap printouts, and then the actual uh, cards that you used in the Snap Station. And then here, of course, is my 100% fully functioning Pokemon Snap Station. Love this thing. Uh, never ever dreamed of owning one. So moving up here, in the back there we have my store promo of Super Smash Bros 3DS. It's actually like three-dimensional. It's a really awesome piece there. There's my virtual boy. And then we got a couple of arcade cabinets here. And then here's my Vectrex. With Kyogre sitting on top. We take a look inside the drawers here. This is where I keep my Virtual Boy games, some loose Game Boy games, a lot of my handhelds that I play. Vita. This drawer here, I keep my Super Nintendo carts. This drawer here, are some more SNES carts and some N64 carts. In here, we have some disc based games there, like PS1, Dreamcast. And then some Game Boy Advance games and Genesis games. And here we have old stuff here like Atari and television. Got some Jaguar stuff there, PS Vita, Master System, Gizmondo games, Gamecom games. Here we got a big mess of wires, accessories, some Neo Geo games and 3DO games and then some N-Gage games. Moving back up here, we got the Breath of the Wild Amiibos, all sealed. Just missing the Goblin. Oh, there's my Vectrix actually running here, running Mindstorm. Up here we got some more Amiibos. And then finally, we have the Walking Dead Telltale. Clementine and Lee Everett set of characters, all sealed. And then Bowser, Perlerite from my fiance. So, that's my game room. What do you guys think? Um, I'd love to know. If you guys want to see anything in detail, too, just please let me know. I want to send out a big thanks to everybody who stuck it out through this whole video I know it's a lot to take in but um, I just wanted to show this game room one more time before I pack it up and say goodbye so again thanks everybody for watching really appreciate it and that's it last time you guys will see this game room I am the console collector and until the next video guys, happy gaming.